Okay, here we are. It's night night time, and we got our book that we've been reading every night forever. Mm -hmm. We're on like the fifth thousandth time, the Phantom Tollbooth, and we're up to uh, let's see, uh, the Welcome to Dictionopolis. <clears throat> Starting with the uh, oh yes the. Uh, the uh, Duke, uh, oh, it was, the, it was the guys who repeat everything. Welcome to the word market. And from across the square, five very tall, thin gentlemen, regally dressed in silks and satins, plumbed hats, and buckled shoes, rushed up to the car, stopped short, Mopped five brows and caught five breaths and unrolled five parchments and began talking in terms. Greetings, salutations, welcome, good afternoon, hello. Milo nodded his head and they went on reading from their scrolls. By order of Azaz the Unabridged, King of Dishlopolis, Monarch of Letters, Emperor of phrases, senses, and miscellaneous figures of speech. We offer you the hospitality of our kingdom, country, nation, state, commonwealth, realm, empire, palatinate, <laughs> principality. Do all those words mean the same thing, gasped Milo? Of course, certainly, precisely, exactly, yes. Replied, they replied in order. There's one of them. Well, then, said Milo, not understanding why each one said the same thing in a slightly different way. Wouldn't it be simpler to just use one? It would certainly make more sense. Nonsense, ridiculous, fantastic, absurd. Bosh, they chorused again and continued. We're not interested in making sense. It's not our job, scolded the first. Besides, explained the second, one word is as good as another. Why not use them all? Then why don't you have to choose which one is right, advised the third. Then you don't have to. <clears throat> Besides, sighed the fourth, if one is right, then ten are ten times as right. Obviously, you don't know who we are, sneered the fifth, and they presented themselves one by one. The Duke of Definition, the Minister of Meaning, the Earl of Essence, the Count of Connotation, the Under Secretary of Understanding. Milo acknowledged the introduction, and as talk growled softly, the minister explained, We are the King's advisers or in more formal terms, his cabinet. Blah, blah, blah. And so ends story time. Because Andrew fell asleep. <laughs> Say goodnight, Andrew. Night. Aww. <laughs> Whoa.